Welcome to Svalbard, a Norwegian archipelago located between mainland Norway and the North Pole, but much closer to the latter. Are you here year round? Yeah, I live here all year round. What's Mostly like for the here? winter. That's the best. Like I have my 30 yeah! dogs and I can uh, go out on an adventure every single day. So uh, I love that. What is your favorite thing about living here in general? Uh, the nature, to uh, go, uh, go out in the wild. It's uh, definitely amazing. It's cold, but it's light. 24 hours a day during summertime. Very interesting. Interesting people from all countries, from China, from Australia, from Sweden. It's a very small place, um, not many people, like 2000. If you want some peace, this is the place to be. Yeah. The 2,700 residents who live here make up the northernmost settlements on Earth. I'm talking north of Alaska, north of Siberia, and north of most of Canada. So in Svalbard, if you're walking around and you see this sign, you gotta be carrying a rifle on you because you could get attacked by a hungry polar bear. There are two main towns, Longyearbyen, which is under Norwegian control, and Barentsburg, which is Russian. What's up, Lennon? How you doing, bro? More on that tomorrow. This vast unexplored land was one of the last frontiers of humanity before it was discovered in 1596 by a Dutch explorer named William Barents. As you might expect, the nature all around here is as beautiful as it gets, as well as the incredible wildlife of polar bears, walruses, arctic foxes, and huskies. Look at those blue eyes! So this is my lead dog, Yep. He's an Alaskan husky. Today we are going dog sledding. They're ready to go, look at them. Hello! Hello. The capital of Longyearbyen is home to roughly 80% of Svalbard's population and is nothing more than a few shops, tasty restaurants, rowdy bars, and cute colorful houses. Pretty chill place. It's so low-key here that there are no traffic lights, street names, or even prisons. Yeah, we have just a small one, but uh, never in use. But it's extremely safe. Yeah, where shall you drive? <laughs> it's only a couple of miles of roads and then it stops, so yeah. In Svalbard, it's customary to always keep your car and home open. You left the car running? Yeah. So safe. <laughs> Not only because it's extremely safe, but because of the threat of an attacking polar bear. It can save someone's life to quickly escape into a car or house, especially in winter. But it's not always freezing cold and dark here. In the summer months, like now, the sun doesn't set or rise. It remains in the sky for 24 hours a day. Right now it's 2 a.m. And it's bright as can be. They're actually talking about turning off their clocks to go completely time-free during summer. Another interesting fact about Svalbard is that anyone from any country can live and work here without a visa. It's nice living here. But it's cold. That's why Longyearbyen is one of the most diverse capital cities per capita in the world. I don't know, it's between 50 and 70 countries uh, represented here by the workers, so it's very, very international. And that's why you'll see Thai restaurants in the middle of the Arctic. I am super excited to be spending the next four days here in Svalbard before hopping on an expedition cruise with Hurtigruten over to Greenland and Iceland for the next two weeks. Stay tuned for a lot more interesting stories coming your way. I'm Drew Binsky, and if you like my travel videos, please click subscribe and join me as I plan to visit every country in the world.